What's up everyone, today I'll be doing a review of the iPhone 7 compared to my old phone, the iPhone 6. So this Black Friday, T-Mobile had a really good sale. The sale was that if you turn in your iPhone 6 with an additional $100, you're able to upgrade to the iPhone 7. If you add an additional $100 for a total of $200, you're able to upgrade to the iPhone 7, 128 gigabytes, which is what I did. So here's the T-Mobile package. They send you a return slip to send your old phone along with the rent agreement. They also send you the phone. Inside the case of the phone comes obviously the iPhone 7. Now I chose the color silver because I wanted it to be similar to my old phone and I'm not a big fan of change. I, I like things staying the same. The reason I felt I had to upgrade though is because I felt like the iPhone 6 was kind of out of date. Now with the iPhone 7, you can tell it looks pretty similar. It comes with an adapter or charger with the charger stayed the same as the iPhone 6 and the headphones. Now the headphones are different to the headphones you're used to. They're specially made for the iPhone which limits Apple's competition. You could use regular iPhones still, but it is very inconvenient. This is configured with the input for the new iPhone. Now you wanna power up your iPhone. It's gonna give you a multiple different languages. Pick your language and your country. From there, it's gonna ask you for a Wi-Fi connection, which you don't necessarily need at this point. So you could back up your phone from here, or you could take start of new which was what i had to do because my iphone system was too late my ios system needed to update so i had to start from the beginning and then back up my phone now once you're ready for the backup if you haven't already backed up your phone you want to connect your iphone 6 to the computer from here you open itunes select the icon that simulates your phone and if you want to back up to your computer click this computer and then back up now now there's a trick to this if you don't have enough space on your computer where you could use an external hard drive. There's a great article about it and I'll leave it in the description below. This article leads you with the steps on how to back it up to ex external hard drive, but for some reason it's not a default. Now, if you don't wanna back it up to your computer or hard drive, you could use iCloud, which you have to purchase if you're using a significant amount of gigabytes. I had a 64 gigs and it was almost fully loaded on my phone, so I had to pay $3 a month to update my iCloud and I decided to do that. Here's a time frame of kinda how long it takes, which is like three hours. Once you backed up your phone, you want to connect a new phone to your computer, open up iTunes, and then continue through the process there. It's simple and easy, and it's actually a lot faster than it is backing up your phone. Now let's compare both phones. As you can see, both of them look very similar, besides the obvious missing of a headphone jack. They're similar size, weight, and they pretty much look exactly the same if you get the same color. So there's not much difference there. As far as the doggle goes, that's where the big difference is. No headphone jack means you gotta use this little piece. Now the headphones that it comes with is already fine. You don't need that. Another change is the iPhone is the button no longer presses down. Now you could set it to different sensitivity levels so it feels like it presses down, but it's nothing like it used to be. Which it's hard to say if I like it yet or not. But I definitely could get used to it. Now here we have both phones and you can see the comparison of me touching both of them and you can see how one goes in and one doesn't. Also because they're so similar you could actually use the same case you had for your iPhone 6 which is a big plus because I was a big fan of my case. It was uh, it protected it in a lot of falls and drops and I felt like it was perfect. So here's some reviews of the different pictures and videos, which was a big factor for me in buying the phone. Seeing as I'm a YouTuber, I felt like I had to have really good quality and to have it portable with my phone is something good. Here's a shot that happened in the dark. Now here's video uh, from the selfie camera. Here's regular video with a pan shot. And here's some slow motion shots. First with the iPhone 6 and then with the iPhone 7. Thank you guys for watching the video. Like comment, subscribe, and make sure to ring the little bell next to the subscribe button. Peace.